It is 640. Welcome back. Over the weekend marked 106 years since the beginning of the mass killing of Armenians by Turkish forces during World War I. President Joe Biden formally recognized the atrocities as a genocide, becoming the first president to do so. In a statement, he said in part, over the decades, Armenian immigrants have enriched the United States in countless ways, but they have never forgotten the tragic history. We honor their story. We see that pain. We affirm the story. We do this not to cast blame, but to ensure that what happened is never repeated. Joining us now with reaction to this statement is political analyst John Dadian, who is Armenian descent and uh, second generation American. Good morning, John. Good morning. So this is something uh, President Biden really broke with his predecessors in in labeling this uh, officially a genocide. And, you know, the, the reasons presidents have said they would do this and not do this can, can be debated. Obviously, there's a, a, a worry about potential fractures with Turkey. What were your thoughts and reactions to the president's statement? Huge. I mean, huge. Armenians all over the world, not just this country, but because the United States has such an impact, Armenians all over the world have been celebrating now for a couple of days. Uh, I literally cannot put into words in this interview how big this is. I am a good example. I was born in the late 50s, but even my generation grew up with tales from our parents, not only about the old country, but about uh, the massacre, et cetera. So we have lived with this for 106 years, way, way about time. And what about uh, potential reaction from from Turkey? You know, it's it really, it, it is much to do about nothing in the sense that it is diplomatic. I mean, Turkey is part of NATO, so there's absolutely military concerns, there's economic concerns, and there's political concerns. But other than that, they're going to do what they've done the past couple of days, uh, scream and shout, stomp a little bit, but that's going to be the extent of it. The uh, What I keep telling people to, for people that are not Armenians, or, uh, I'm talking to a lot of people this weekend that didn't know anything about the massacre. And here's the, what I put to them very clear. The issue is not the massacre. The issue is that Turkey does not admit that it happened. And to put it very clear to non-Armenians, what if the country of Germany denied the Holocaust happened? People all over the world would just go crazy. Well, Turkey denies a massacre happened. Now that the United States has recognized it, we can move on, but we can really only move on once they recognize it. And that all happens sometime in the future. It may take another couple of decades. So why did it take 106 years? Why, why now, why has President Biden uh, become the first to do this? Well, I'm gonna be very blunt because he is the first president in recent years to keep a campaign promise. You know, I want to be very clear. Several of the last presidents have done the same thing, but uh, everybody lumped Trump's into it. Trump didn't make a campaign pledge, but Bush, Clinton, and Obama actually made a clear campaign pledge that they would uh, that they would recognize it. And then when they got in office, they did nothing. Uh, and uh, uh, some of the Obama advisors today, this this past weekend, have said they regret now that they did not do what Joe Biden is doing today. A lot of people, Lauren, are surprised because of my personal politics that uh, I don't d agree with uh, President Biden on quite a few issues. T this weekend, I'm saying God bless America and God bless President Biden. And so do you think there will be much fallout from this? I mean, we've we've seen uh, some, uh, you know, some Turkish members uh, claim it was opportunism. But do you think there will be much fallout from this? Well, I'm hoping what the fallout will be will be positive in the sense that several things can happen. And what, what I'm hoping to see is, although numerous countries before the United States have recognized uh, the, uh, the massacre and the genocide, meaning Russia and many large countries in, in Europe uh, and the Middle East, uh, I'm hoping that these a few other countries who haven't recognized it yet now will feel comfortable with the United States being as large as it is, that they'll, uh, that they'll go on to it. Another little anecdote that, again, somebody who doesn't realize how bad the massacre was, there's a lot of famous uh, Americans of Armenian descent. Everybody knows, of course, the Kardashians. But the famous tennis player, Andre Agassi, he's of Armenian descent. And his family tells a story that the reason decades ago uh, during the massacre, why they changed their name, because it was such a long Armenian name, is because, and this is a quote, because the Turks were using Armenians for target practice. That's what was going on in the massacre. Over a million people not only were killed, but were tortured. 
Well, a, a big move and a first. And John, thank you so much for the insight this morning and for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Take care.